2000 cash back. Or check out the 2020 Corolla. At least for as low as $179 a month. Or get up to 1000 total cash allowance. Go for some of the best deals of the year. Toyota, let's go places. Trying to give fans something to cheer for. The World Series just days away. What we're learning about the Nats' plan for the games and how fans are getting ready. Tracking big weather changes, we've dried out for now, but you're still going to need to leave a few minutes early for the morning commute. What you can expect before heading out the door. And it's, it's traumatic. And an officer hits and kills a pedestrian. What we're learning about that investigation and that specific stretch of road. Now, ABC 7 News at 11, on your side. After a day of rain and wind, it is finally calm outside, but we're still tracking changes to the weather from that system. Meteorologist Brian Vandegraaff with the impact we could see on the morning commute. Yeah, that's right, Carl. Keep an eye on those uh, rain tallies. I'm going to mention that real quick. We did have 1.6 inches of rain today downtown. Now, it's a lot, but not a record. Dulles, though, set a new record that was set back in the 70s with just less than an inch and a half, two inches down in southern Maryland, inch and a half in Culpeper. And now we've got a lot of moisture in the atmosphere out there. And as we head through the overnight hours, I'm watching these winds. Right now, 12 downtown, but three in Gaithersburg, eight Upper Marlboro, and down to zero off to the west. As those winds calm down, that will allow some fog to develop. And that's what I'm concerned about tomorrow morning. The moisture pulling out of here, but all that moisture in the lower levels of the atmosphere could lead to some fog development, and that could slow your go tomorrow morning. That area of low pressure pulling off the coast, the showers through the north and east, but that air that's out still a bit saturated, and so that's why I do have some concerns. Tomorrow morning could see some fog early in the morning and some extra cloudiness, so keep that in mind. Temperatures 40s in the burbs to low 50s downtown. Maybe a little extra time for the morning commute. Also, watch out for the kiddos at the bus stop. As we go through the midday, though, back into some sunshine. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon, upper 60s to potentially near 70 degrees. Now, our next weather maker arrives Tuesday. Nats will be on the road, nice down in Houston. But here, if you're going to the viewing party, you may need a poncho. We'll touch on that and look ahead to the next seven days coming up in just a bit. All right, Brian, thank you. Well, tonight, concerns about pedestrian safety after a person was hit and killed by a police cruiser in Fairfax County. This happened shortly after midnight near Route 50 and Graham Road. That is in West Falls Church. Our Annalisa Gale is live there tonight and speaking with those who say this stretch of road is dangerous. Annalisa. Carl, as this investigation continues, so does the search for the victim's loved ones. Just take a look at this busy intersection that many in this community tell us is tricky and somewhat dangerous. They hope that some improvements are on the way. While responding to a call about disorderly subjects, an officer struck a man who was walking in this crosswalk on Arlington Boulevard and Graham Road on Sunday morning just after midnight. This is a tragic event for our community, and my prayers continue for the deceased, their loved ones, and the officer involved in this event. Chief Rossler says the officer stopped his cruiser to help the pedestrian who later died at the hospital. The best information we have right now is the officer did have a green light, was proceeding through the intersection, and that the pedestrian, unfortunately, was crossing against the don't walk sign. The intersection was previously scheduled to be the subject of a discussion with pedestrian safety advocates this week. This is an intersection that has an historical issue with pedestrian safety. The Department of Transportation is looking for feedback as part of a $10 million initiative to make improvements for pedestrians on Route 50. What do you think can be improved here? Uh, possibly just the uh, how they deal with the access roads on the side. And that officer was placed on administrative leave. His dash cam video is being reviewed. That pedestrian safety meeting is scheduled for 6.30 p.m. at Falls Church High School. Live from Falls Church, Annalisa Gale, ABC 7 News. Annalisa, thank you. New video tonight. A video posted on social media shows the aftermath of a traffic stop that left a man critically injured in Prince George's County. The man's family tells us that he suffered a spine injury and is now partially paralyzed. I want to warn you that this video is hard to watch. Monte! How are you getting the cell charge again? 